Hello, writers. It's time for our weekly vocab enrichment, words that will make your writing shine like gold. Example story. Clara saw a sinister figure at the door. Fearing the worst, she hitched a rope onto a hula hoop and surprised the stranger when she opened the door. It was only after she had taken the man captive that Clara discovered it was only her uncle visiting on vacation. Uncle Thomas bristled with anger, all tangled up in hula hoop and rope, calling for Clara's mom and dad. For the next three days, Clara was in disgrace. So our first word, disgrace, it's a noun and means loss of honor or reputation, like when people disapprove of you. Um, you can see in this picture, there's a group of cats and there's the teacher cat and the student cats, but then this cat in the back is wearing a dunce cap because he's in disgrace. He must have done something like meowing too loud, so he doesn't get to be part of the group. Uh, connections, what happens when a person is in disgrace? Maybe people don't look at you in the eye, or maybe they won't talk to you, or maybe you have to sit in a corner until you're ready to rejoin the group again. Next word is bristle. Bristle was originally a noun and it meant a stiff hair like on a boar, but we're focusing in on it today as a verb where it means to stand like a stiff hair in a way that shows anger. So this cat over here is bristling with anger. You can see its body is arched, its back is arched and its mouth is open and it's not gonna back down from whatever fight it's getting in. Uh, what's a situation that might make a person bristle in anger? Maybe if somebody tries to take your lunch, you might get up in their face and you'd say, no, that's my lunch. Or maybe if somebody insults you, or maybe if somebody's beating up on someone smaller than themselves, any of those things could make you get, try to make yourself very big and bristle up at them. Third word, sinister. Sinister is an adjective, means threatening harm, dark, or mysterious. In this picture, this little girl like Clara is opening the door and there's a sinister figure here. You can't see their face. They're shrouded in the shadows. You don't know what they might do. Um, that's sinister. What are some things that would seem sinister to most people? For a lot of people, like a house with broken windows and no lights on inside, that would seem sinister. Um, for a lot of people, maybe a thumping noise sounding from the closet, that could sound very sinister. There are even some kinds of birds, like ravens, could seem sinister to people, even if they are not necessarily dangerous. Captive. Captive is a noun, means someone held against their will. This poor parrot is captive uh, because it's in the cage and it's not allowed to get out even if it wants to. Um, what kinds of people or animals are taken captive? Uh, in wartime, you find prisoners of war who are taken captive and held in these prison camps where they can't be let go. Um, animals are taken captive all the time, sometimes for their own good so that they can be uh, healed from their wounds or sometimes because they're endangered and so they can be um, bred to grow and repopulate again and other times just because we like keeping them in zoos for people to look at but if you are taken captive it means that you're not going to be let go even if you want to last word is hitch hitch is a verb means to fasten connect or attach uh, you can see this trailer hitch at the back of this truck here is this uh, round knob where you can go and attach a trailer to the back of the, the truck so that the truck can pull it along together. So that's one, two things that people hitch together is a car and a trailer in, a back, in the back. What are some other things that people hitch together? They might hitch together, like Clara, a rope onto a hula hoop. They might hitch together um, a cup, a chain of hula hoops if they want to make a long lasso. They might hitch together, um, even you can hitch your hands and elbows together so that uh, you can your people can uh, join to make a chain. And that brings us to our example story one more time. Clara saw a sinister figure at the door, fearing the worst. She hitched a rope onto a hula hoop and surprised the stranger when she opened the door. It was only after she had taken the man captive that Clara discovered it was only her uncle visiting on vacation. Uncle Thomas bristled with anger, all tangled up in hula hoop and rope, calling for Clara's mom and dad. For the next three days, Clara was in disgrace.